Hey, good morning, everyone. Glenn Calloway from the basement. It's Saturday morning. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Uh, back with another video. Today, I thought I would talk about bands slash artists that I have either discovered or rediscovered over the past year or two. Um, there's 12 that I picked out. And I'm kind of passionate about all of them. They've been driving my musical listening for quite a while now. I've dropped the Beatles and most of the classic rock artists. And most of these artists uh, um, take up, I'd say, 80% of my listening. I, I, um, so um, some are older artists that I knew I was aware of, but just didn't realize how much I liked them. Or I just kind of just stopped listening to them and just kind of really rediscovered that how much I enjoy their music so let's get started here number 12 a band that I always knew the name I didn't have a clue anything about them I don't know if I'd ever heard a song by them before the Straubs what a great band love these guys I got two albums so far I think I might have a CD or two as well but uh, no madness and the live uh, at the Queen Elizabeth Hall. When I first heard this, I wasn't sure about it, but man, after a couple listens, I love it. It's great. Uh, great band if you've never listened to the Straubs. Um, one thing, I, when, I, when I was investigating the history of the band, you know, I'm a big bluegrass guy, they were a bluegrass band to start out, and they were called the Strawberry something or other, and the name Straubs comes from shortening the word strawberry. Who knew? Because I thought it was kind of a stupid name. They almost made my stupid name embargo list Okay, next on the list. Uh, this is an artist that I discovered through a live chat, maybe on Larry's channel, and Harry from Harry's Music Room joined us. Uh, it was on Alex, uh, Beer and Vinyl, another great channel, another good friend. Check out Beer and Vinyl, please. Alex uh, had a chat one night, and Harry from Harry's Music Room joined us. And he, we were talking about bands back and forth, and he mentioned this artist, Robbie Folks. He said, Glenn, you got to check this guy out. I found this CD in a uh, used bin. First of all, he's got a, one of his more current albums is called Bluegrass Vacation, which I listened to on Spotify a little bit, and I loved it. I'm going to get it, but finding it locally is hard. I got to order it through a third-party seller on Amazon. It's like Chalkies or something in the States, and like three weeks later, you get it. I'm trying to speed that up a bit. Anyway... Um, so I'm after that album, but this guy, very eclectic artist, uh, rootsy, rock, uh, uh, it's just it's hard to explain, but just everything he does is good. I mean, Robbie Folks, check this guy out. Thanks, Harry, for that. Uh, definitely going to get more Robbie Folks in my collection. Okay, my buddy Steve from All the Worlds of Stage. The next two picks he's going to love, he's just not going to love how low I ranked them. Rory Gallagher. I saw Rory Gallagher in Taste in 1969, open for Blind Face. So I've been, I'm more than aware of Rory Gallagher. Saw him uh, as a solo artist in a club uh, in the early 70s. And um, but um, Steve turned me on to this album because you know I'm, there we go back to the bluegrass stuff. Bale of Fleck is one of my all-time favorites. Steve uh, mentioned to me that Rory had this album out called uh, Watching Winged Wheels or something, Wheels Within Wheels. And uh, he said, Bale of Fleck plays on this album. So I immediately ordered it. And it's fantastic. It's mostly acoustic stuff. And man, it's good. Oh, wow. That got me back. The juice is flowing big time for, uh, for uh, Rory. And uh, I've been uh, listening to a lot of Rory Gallagher over the past uh, while. I'm trying to look and see who plays on this album with him besides Bela. If they've got a list of the... Of the people because there's a lot he plays with uh every song kind of got a different person on it so but anyway this is a really good acoustic album if you like Rory Gallagher it's a really interesting album of course albums like Deuce this is the anniversary issue of Deuce which was his second album Deuce makes sense um the first one self-titled Rory Gallagher uh tattoo whatever they're, they're all good it, there's not no such thing as a bad Rory Gallagher album great guitar player great singer awesome gone too soon Rory Gallagher next Ian Hunter I mean I knew Mata Hoopo I had a couple of albums I had a couple of Rory uh, Ian Hunter albums never played them and then um I don't know if it came up 
in a chat with Steve or something. I don't know how it kind of came up again that I got renewed interest. And I went to a UCD store and found this comp called Once Bitten, Twice Shy, one of my favorite comps of all time. Fantastic. As soon as I heard this, I'm all over it. Now I, now I'm, I did, now that I did a deep dive into to Ian with this and heard songs like The Outsider and Boy and uh, uh, Letter to Britannia from the Union Jack. Man, I'm all over Ian Hunter now. Fantastic. His last two albums were 85 years old, still rocking. Fantastic. Number nine. Number eight. Joe Strummer. This started when we did an album exchange with Randall Nelson long, long time ago. We did, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Randall Nelson gave, gave me this. Street Core, Joe Strummer. I listened to this and went, man, this is for me. This is just, re it just slapped me in the face. It, amazing. Loved it. Started, I didn't know Joe, Joe Strummer list, released solo stuff. I had no idea. I thought he was this Clash guy. So ever since then, man, oh, Joe Strummer and the Mescaleros. Oh, look at that box set. Fantastic. 1999 to 2002. Incredible set. And just released uh, earlier this year, Joe Strummer and the Mescaleros live at Acton Town Hall, London from 2002. Uh, another guy who left us way too soon. Joe Strummer. Fantastic. Next on the list would be number seven in your program um genesis who doesn't know genesis i mean but i didn't like them that much especially the phil Col i like the phil collins genesis which makes me a bit wimpy i didn't like the peter gabriel genesis even though i really love peter gabriel solo weird i know i'm weird um then uh i went to see uh, Steve Hackett, who's coming up soon, um, and he played some Genesis stuff in its entirety, and Supper's Ready, and songs like that, and I got a, a whole new, I don't know, feeling about Genesis, and started listening to them. I even like Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. What a great album. I always said I hated this album. It was in my most overrated albums uh, list. Um, fantastic album. <laughs> My favorite, Selling England by the Pound. Genesis. I'm a Genesis fan. Can I say? Number six. Thanks to a uh, loyal uh, watcher of my videos who sent me this wonderful gift, The Police. I've got uh, heavy into The Police now. Just love them, man. I was always a Sting fan. Very casual Police fan. Who doesn't know every breath you take and... Da do da da and uh, rocks and all those songs. I mean, they're you know you had been living under a rock not to know who the police were, but I never really paid much attention. I started buying all their vinyl, got this box set with all their albums in it, and oh man, just man, just love the police, love them, the whole total, just amazing, amazing. Number five, Larry Graves. On a CD exchange, at my request, I think, lent me Alice Coltrane's Journey in Satchin and 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 Um, I took this home again. Blown, mind blown. I'm still surprised there's still a head on top of my neck. It just exploded. Uh, I love her. This recently came out, Alice Coltrane, Carnegie Hall. She did the album Illumination with Carlos Santana. Another album called Fat Man. I can't remember what it's called. I have on vinyl. Uh, big Alice Coltrane fan. Now, you got to be careful with Alice. These are the good ones. There's a lot of weird shit out there, man. Let me just warning you. Uh, Alice, who's number four? Pentangle. These next four could all be number one. I am so into this band. British folk from the 60s. Who knew how good this stuff was? Because I ignored it. Um, this was all going on at the same time. The British invasion. Well, not early British invasion. From, say, 68. Which was kind of a classic. Hendrix and Cream. And we all know all those bands. Pink Floyd. This is going on. A whole other new wor world is over there. 
putting out all this amazing music with sitars and great bass and great vocals and great drums and oh, just these in musicians are incredible great music um i am a huge pentangle fan huge next speak of the devil steve hackett the man who turned me on to genesis i love steve hackett one of my favorite guitar players now anything he puts out i'll buy i i think he's amazing i started buying these live sets this is one where he does in, selling english england by the pound and his own album spectral morning fantastic uh believe this one came with uh, CDs and vinyl. Fantastic stuff. Man, he's great. I saw him at Massey Hall last October. This is his latest album. It's awesome. The Circus and the Night Whale. Uh, great photo. Um, man. Love it. Number two and number one could be one A and one B. I am just blown away by these artists. They are become two of my all-time favorite artists uh Bert Yanch this is live at BBC just picked this set up a while ago eight CDs of all live performances from Bert all over the place um there's some interviews on here which kind of I always hate that part but the music incredible what a guitar player what an influential guy I mean Jimmy Page Neil Young Donovan Robert Plant uh uh, you can, it's so many people influenced by this man. Incredible, incredible, incredible. I can't say enough. Number one, a man I'm finally getting to see live. He was number one on my bucket list. Billy Strings, what a guitar player, what a singer, what a songwriter, what a guy, what a band. Uh, I just love Billy Strings. I play him constantly. He's got to be number one. This is my favorite album. It's called Home. Renewal is fantastic. Uh, Tinfoil and Turmoil, the album he did with his dad, me and dad. I mean, I am, I, I'm wishing my summer away so October 4th comes so I can go see Billy Strings. So anyway, that's uh, they're the ones I am like totally passionate about. Like I said, taking over my musical world, these artists. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if there's anything uh, you're into or newly discovered. Maybe you can throw some my way and I can try and find some time to toss one of these guys out and listen to something different. I appreciate you watching. Give me some thumbs. It really helps me out my channel. Please do it. And uh, thank you.